Hi, and welcome to this edition of My Clips TV, where we take a quick glance at the movies. I'm Frederick Knight. Thanks for joining us. Got a great show on tap for you. It's the heyday of the Motor City Star Machine, and everybody is hoping to catch a ride to the top on the Hitsville Express, Motown. Musical prodigy Sparkle and her singing sibling soon find that all that glitters is not gold. We'll also find out from the stars what it was like to work with the late Whitney Houston. Plus, I'll introduce you to the newest Bond girls, literally blazing across the screen in the latest 007 flick, Skyfall. Daniel Craig is back as Ian Fleming's James Bond, 007 in Skyfall, the 23rd adventure in the longest running film franchise of all time. And MyClips TV introduces you to the newest Bond girls, Bernice Marlowe and Naomi Harris. The press conference was great because I was a bit uh, nervous at the beginning. But we had a lot of uh, fun with the other actors, so I start to really feel involved in, in the project. I play the role of uh, Severine. Uh, the first time you, s you see her, she has a dark side. I w was in a way convinced that I could bring something uh, interesting uh, as an actress. I think there is a big range of colors when playing a Bond girl, whether they are very nice or good characters or villainous or psychopaths. So it is very interesting because you can try to create your own character based on that. I think this is very particular to the, the James Bond movies. Walk your and go! Eve is a field agent. She's very capable kind of sees herself as Bond's equal. She's not, but that's how she sees herself. Like most people in England, I grew up with them and I think they're amazing films and I've always loved them, so I just couldn't believe that I was part of all of this and I still can't believe it. You're going to have it on automatic, but you'll do short bursts. I've been training for like two months now. Front. I've mainly been doing guns machine guns and handguns, in particular Walker PPKs. I'm just so excited to be part of this whole journey and it's a long journey because it's a seven month shoot so it's the longest film that I've ever been part of but I'm just ready to ride the roller coaster. <laughs> the action thriller is scheduled to open later this year. MyClips TV takes a behind-the-scene look at Sparkle, set in the 1960s, three sisters form a girl group and soon become Motown sensation. But fame becomes a challenge as the close-knit family begins to fall apart. Respect, getting an education, and having a relationship with the Lord. If you can't do that, then go. I had already known that Whitney was going to be executive producing, and I was just like, oh, that'll be so great. I'll be able to see her, you know, from time to time when she comes to visit or whenever it is. And uh, then it came out that she was going to be playing the mom, and I kind of just stopped in my tracks, and I was just like, okay, this is going to be even bigger for me than I, than I imagined. She is raising her daughters in a uh, religious atmosphere. Um, back in the 60s, the late 60s. Um, she is a church-going woman. She loves the Lord. She loves singing gospel, and that is her thing. And she raises her daughters in that fashion. I have really come to be like their mother in a sense, you know what I'm saying? Um, I give mom hugs on the set, you know. And they're just, I don't know, they're just, they were just perfect for this project, just absolutely perfect. My Clips TV was curious to know what it was like to work with the legendary songstress Whitney Houston. You know, what she's giving you in this film is what she's given consistently since we've known her as an artist. And that is um, quality, restraint, uh, subtlety, knowing how to play the quiet moments 
and knowing how to uh, restrain oneself in the more uh, in the bigger moments. She was very motherly towards me. She was very nurturing, which I wasn't expecting at all. You know, I'm expecting her to be this supernova pop star, come in, do her scene, say hello, and just go and do her schedule. I mean, it's Whitney Houston. I'm sure the lady's really busy. And um, she wasn't like that. It wasn't like that. Like, she'd come in and she would ask how we were doing and if we needed anything and how we were feeling. And for me, I mean, it was my first time. Whitney is somebody that grew up watching this movie every single Saturday for like four months when the film first came out. So it was, she was somewhat obsessed with the project and it was her absolute intention to make the movie um, relevant to a modern audience and something that she could proudly show her daughter, Bobby Christina, she would talk about that. It was just fun and freeing and you know even if I was in a corner being quiet you know she'd be like you okay baby you okay or she'll be like I'm so proud of you you know just things like that and um, she was just comforting a comforting force to be be with on set and I'm just grateful that I got the opportunity to work with her yeah. I did a video with her and Bobby Brown years ago and I met her then so um, it was incredible to work with Whitney and I'm just glad that I had a chance to work with somebody as great as she was, you know, and, and still is a great legacy, sold so many albums, and uh, was just as great of an actress as she was a singer. And it, w it was incredible to work with her, full of life, and just fun, and real, and attracted to the real, yeah. The movie also stars Derek Luke, Omar Hardwick, and CeeLo Green. You bring home some kids you can't feed. <laughs> That's Tammy Anderson. She's smoking hot. She got two sisters and they can all sing. My name's Sticks. Sparkle. Think that's your song? You wrote that? Only if you thought it was good. Girl groups are hotter than ever right now. You should be together singing. My mom used to sing professionally. Maybe you'd be like your mom and never reach your goals. But don't fall short because you can't admit that you want it. Coming up next to the stage. Just Everybody. going out there, look pretty. But this isn't what we were. I know what I'm doing. Sister and her sister. Where in the world did you get those church dresses? <laughs> get this man a drink, he's gonna need one. My babies. I know y'all don't love each other that much. <laughs> I see your beauty. I want to be your man. This is Satin Struthers. I'm looking for a new act to open up for myself. When you see a train that's gonna get you to where you're trying to go, <laughs> you gotta jump on it. Why? Was my life not enough of a cautionary tale for you? We are close to getting a record deal. Hell, if I had any sense, I'd be living off you. He did that to you, didn't he? Why? Are you still going to be a part of the group? Shadows, shadows come. People are trying to destroy what we built. You and me, we started this thing. Why would the Lord give me this gift if I wasn't supposed to use it? It takes a lot of faith to do this, Marco. It makes me feel I've done something right. Don't lose it. That's going to do it for this week's edition of My Clips TV. We'd like to thank all of you for joining us today. Want to remind you, go out to the website, myclipstv.com. Check out the box scores, the feature trailers, and get yourself registered for that A-pad to be given away. Good luck. Until we take a quick glance at the movies once again, have yourselves a great one. Be sure to come back and check us out here at MyClipsTV.